Hello, I'm Chini, here for the second Jamjuboa devlog. If you are new here, Jamjuboa is a one-button platformer primarily designed for mobile devices. The entire goal is to make a platformer that can be played one-handed. A one-button platformer is by no means an original idea, but I hope to inject as much of my own personality into the game as possible. In this devlog entry, I'd like to talk about the implementation of my lighting effect. The implementation is broken down into the following steps. First, I draw a circle. Second, I draw the polygon in the shape of the shadow. And third, I merge all of the light sources together. In Jump Jaboa, the player character acts as a light source, which essentially is just a circle that follows the player around wherever they go. Drawing the circle is trivial. The non-trivial part is in figuring out how to implement the occlusion, also known as the shadows. So I have each light source uh, check its surrounding for any tiles that may obscure the lighting. For each obstacle, a vector is defined from the center of the light source to each corner of said obstacle. The pair of vectors that gives the widest angle is then picked and extrapolated to the circumference of the circle in order to find the intersections. These four points, as shown, informs which part of the circle is in shadow. The intermediate points are then calculated. This point describes the shape of the polygon uh, needed to cover the shadowed portion of the circle. The polygon is then drawn on top of the circle as triangle strips. With regards to multiple light sources and how they would merge, uh, I wanted a meta ball effect where two light sources would join together in an organic looking fashion. This is strictly a stylistic choice and is in no way a realistic lighting. To achieve this effect, I had to render the lights onto a render target as a circular gradient, with the center of the light being white and the circumference being blacked. When merging, the lights are drawn on top of each other with additive blending enabled. When drawing the render target to the frame buffer, pixels that are below a certain value are discarded, which results in the desired metaboy effect. To further spice it up, I've also added scan lines in the background. That is how I implemented the lighting in Jump Jaboa. At present, I have over 50 levels implemented. Oddly, it feels like the more I work on the game, the more there is left to do. That's it, much of the UI is already done, and I'm aiming to release the first playtesting build in a few weeks' time. In my next devlog, I will go into detail about the new mechanics and aesthetical changes I've added since the last devlog. If you're interested to follow my progress, hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and see you around.